No, I agree. Sex is good. <laughs> sex is very good. But, you know, we still have to be mindful with how we use our sexual energy. Like, you know, based on the word, we know we, we are here to subdue the earth. But at the same time, it's, it's better to be like equally yoked with somebody or to have some kind of real life pure bond with somebody. You get what I'm saying? So, it, so as we say, it can make sense, make that thing make sense. And that's why in today's time, along with all the other conscious things that people are starting to gravitate to, sex magic has become a hot interest, a hot topic. A lot of people are, are exploring and experience, experiencing with sex magic. And you know, some people do it to the extreme and a lot of people look at it like rituals and like a negative thing and then other people understand the healing process of it uh the oneness that comes with it and the manifestation that can be potentially done if you do it correctly but outside of that you know sexual energy is the most creative energy in the universe and one of the most powerful energies in the universe and i was scrolling on facebook you know the other day and i, I came across a post well, somebody was talking about the same thing and they was talking about how you know sexual energy is a very potent energy if you could create a whole being from it. and i was like wow that's crazy because i spoke about that in my book the 36 laws of love like i've been telling people that for years i like that's like god showing you right there in plain sight that if you can have sex you and create a kid like a whole nother being bro just imagine what else you could create so i tap into that saying it went along to speak about the root chakra and how a lot of people are caught up in misconceptions of the feel of their energy. Just because you get horny and start to feel sexual don't mean that you have to go have sex with somebody. That means that's a moment for you to become creative, for you to tap into higher vibrations, to tap into your feminine energy, whether it's writing, speaking, dancing, uh, you know, exercising dance like anything you know what i'm saying and this and this is not just talking about something that you love to do but just some creative thought or idea or concept that came to you at that moment or that you've been you know brainstorming about and then when you get that creative feeling going and everything starts feeling good and you start to feel a little tingly down there it don't necessarily mean that you have to go act and in and have intercourse with somebody it mean you need to tap it to yourself. Make love to yourself. Make love to your brain. Make love to your heart. Make love to your voice. Make love to your being. Make love to your vision. Make love to your future. Make love to the fact that the Most High allowed you to have free will during your human experience. So make it proud. And make yourself proud, your creations, meaning your kids, and anything else around you that you've created, proud in the process. And we'll look at the orgasm after that fact. You're going to bust a big orgasm like the, like the Most High did with its big, big bang or its act of movement that created more and more and more. Yeah, smash that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But nah, man, all jokes aside, do that because when you see the end results, it's the same thing. New creations, new beginnings represent birth. You know what I mean? You're giving new life, new interest, new focus to something that you are creating. And in the process of the growth, it finally manifests. And that is your result. From you busting that nut of thought, activation, and creation into manifestation. Now look what you've done. You should be proud. It's just like watering a plant, watching it grow, and by the there you go. So if you know for a fact in your mind, body, soul, and heart that you got the power to create and to watch it manifest, what does that tell you? That you are God. Isn't it written in your laws that you two are gods? Stop clowning yourself, stop fooling yourself, and stop doubting yourself. Recognize the peak game with the kinetic energy and the potential energy. Recognize the feminine energy and the masculine. Make yourself become one. Fall in love with yourself. Marry yourself. Bring your, your, your left and your right side of your brain together. So you can see who you really are. And you can see that you've always been a creator. Ever since a little child. 
It ain't left you just because you're 30, 40, or 50. You choosing to think that you ain't got no more superpowers. You are limitless, baby. Tap into that energy and that frequency and see what you can do. And when you do have sex, especially when you're having sex with somebody that you're a union with, you are one, you are equally yoked. Your mate, your twin flame, your husband, your wife, whatever. It's pure, it's genuine, it's a commitment, and it's faithful. When you're doing that right there, man, y'all can manifest a home, better jobs, businesses, kids, trips, the life that you want. Just by being in that same frequency and that same vibration. Just by creating that same energy. Just by allowing and accepting each other's internal and external force. Peep game will play with it, man. You got the knowledge. Now apply it. And don't sleep on the energy that sex possess. But also don't sleep on the energy that sexual energy alone without having actual sex possess and can do for you too. Abundance is real. And you won't know until you challenge yourself.